Alright guys, welcome back. Today I got a new tool, so that's pretty exciting. And it's this. Let's see if I can show that to you. It's a Vividia Ablescope Borescope. Basically it's a, it's a digital borescope. So the whole reason for this is for um, well, inspection and primarily engine inspection. So borescopes are uh, pretty common in the aviation industry, not quite as common, I don't think, in, in uh, automotive mechanics. But um, anyway, I'm adding this tool and I'm, hopefully it'll be pretty useful. Uh, I will use it for inspection of, you know, I got 12 cylinders on my new airplane that need to be looked at. Um, but it'll also be useful for other things. The Suzuki Samurai, I'm going to take a look inside its engine in a few minutes. And it's basically assessing for uh, wear, for signs of damage, things like that. When I bought that Junkyard LS for the airboat, it would have been nice to be able to uh, inspect it. So I guess actually I can do that at some point as well. So this is all new to me. Um, I've had this out of the box just for a few minutes to look at it. And uh, this is the, so this is the scope. They sell them in flexible and rigid. This is rigid. And then the important thing is, so it's an LED light and a camera on the end and it articulates. So with, there's a plunger on the back here. Push the plunger. And the camera articulates. So obviously this is like a kind of a multi-hinge joint there. And it'll come back to 90 and then actually even just past 90. So between that and spinning, you should be able to see absolutely everything inside a cylinder. So piston, cylinder wall and valves are particularly important. So that's the mechanism of that. And uh, I haven't looked too closely at the rest of the stuff in here. So computer connections. These are silicone, well, tubes really. So I'm guessing that this uh, silicone sleeve on here is basically a consumable thing. If I guess if it gets nicked or cut, then you replace it. And they included this uh, aluminum tool to put the boot over the, the camera. So that's, I guess, a nice touch. Anyway, uh, with these bore scopes, I mean, this isn't anything I know too much about, but what I do know is the ones that come with a monitor are quite a bit more expensive. This one uh, has to connect into some other monitor, so you can connect it to your phone or tablet or computer. And um, But from what I understand, this is... Uh, a decent quality, basically professional grade borescope. So uh, let's try it out. Okay, so I got the software loaded on my, my shop laptop. This computer basically just meant for work in the garage. And uh, I've spent just probably about five minutes looking in. I've looked in two of the cylinders right now. And um, overall it works really well. So. An interesting thing is, so obviously it has an LED on the on the end, and there's a light control on the handle here, and then there's a quick button to take a photo. So just press a button and it takes a snapshot. And then of course the software can either do photos, time lapse, or video. So let's take a look. One thing I've noticed already is that this would certainly be easier on a large bore, large stroke engine, which is possibly why it's utilized so much in the aviation industry. But even on a small engine like this, it works well. And uh, I'm kind of surprised to see um, the condition of the cylinders in here is, is pretty good. The two I've looked in so far, they both, ha both have the uh, cross hatching on the cylinders still. When I bought this, I was told that it was low kilometers and I kind of took that with a grain of salt, but Maybe it actually is. I mean, the engine does run fine, so maybe it is pretty low kilometers. So right now, I'm just checking out the, so you can see the piston and the cylinder wall there. I'll take a photo of it. And then there's a bit of skill to this probably that I don't yet have, but I'll develop it. But basically, you retroflex to take a look at the valves.
This is something that a, a general surgeon or gastroenterologist would probably be really good at. It's not something I do in my regular practice. But anyway, we can see, so that's the exhaust valve there and it's actually open right now. And if you alter the angles and alter your view, you can get a look at everything. But it does take a bit of practice and a bit of fiddling around. And of course the intake valve is over there and it'll be closed right now. That valve also looks fine. Okay, so there you go. So I think this is going to be a pretty useful tool. You know, just uh, even as a proof of concept on this Samurai, it basically verified that the cylinders and pistons and valves look pretty reasonable on the inside. And uh, I think it'll be quite useful for um, looking inside other engines. Thanks for watching.